On election day, two weeks from tomorrow, LA County voters will decide who should run the largest prosecutor's office in the U.S. The incumbent DA Jackie Lacey ran unopposed last time. But CBS 2's Dave Lopez reports she's facing multiple opponents this time around. We're asking for folks to be respectful of the candidate's time. It has happened more than once at the candidate's forum for district attorney. Eight year incumbent Jackie Lacey being heckled and interrupted as she tries to make her point. If they couldn't control the protesters so that they only protest when I speak and all my opponents to speak, that's really not a fair uh, playing ground. So she stopped going to the public forums. Are you surprised at the reaction that she's gotten at, at these debates? Look, I'm not surprised because I think there is a lot of anger, especially in the African American community. George Gascon is running against her, a former LAPD assistant chief under Bill Bratton. He was twice elected district attorney of San Francisco. And it's because she's failed to meet with the community. Rachel Rossi, a one time public defender who also worked in the Senate Judiciary Committee, is the third candidate in the DA field. That don't make no sense that you're not going to address it, you're not going to prosecute nobody. Much of the criticism from the African American community against Lacey is that she's reluctant to prosecute LAPD officers who do wrong and high profile people like Ed Buck, a prominent political donor who had two African Americans die overdose in his apartment, and it is the federal government that is prosecuting him, not the DA. You don't file cases for political reasons to win brownie points. Let's talk about reform. Let's talk about safe reform. Reality is that under Jackie Lacey and under the policies that have been followed in this county, we're not safer. Proposition 47 has become a campaign issue. The controversial measure that made many felonies into misdemeanors, thus no jail time. Gascon was the architect of that measure. If locking people up worked, LA County would be the safest county in the world, okay? But we're not. If we look at the facts, the only systematic study of Prop 47 found that it was not linked to any increase in crime. Oftentimes these reforms are enacted, but no one thinks about the consequences. No one really gets into the weeds and says, all right, we need this other mechanism. Eight years ago, Jackie Lacey was elected district attorney with 55% of the vote. Four years ago, she was unopposed. Not this year. If I'm elected, we're going to become a safer community but we're going to be much more smarter about the way that we use money. I'm the candidate that's talking about specific reforms because I'm the candidate who's been in the courtrooms and understands the reforms that are necessary. The election, March 3rd, two weeks away. Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News. And a reminder that the deadline to register to vote in the March 3rd California primary is tomorrow, February 18th. You can register to vote at your county clerk's office or online. And there are a lot of changes this year for campaign 2020. We have a complete list of everything you need to know. Just go to cbsla.com slash election.